I'm sure that intro is exactly what Cuts Clothing was looking for when they asked me to do this video. You can't be mad at me though, because uh, today's my birthday, so I get a pass. Also, I got this, uh, I'm 35 today. I got it. I got this zit right here. It might be from stress. I've been wearing these clothes for a little bit now. I like the t-shirt a lot. I spilled something on it immediately, so I had to wash it, and it didn't shrink on me. So, anyways, uh, yeah, shirt fits nice. Yeah, the pants are kind of like one of those kinds of pants that are tight at the bottom, like the trendy kind. Almost feel kind of like golf pants, but like, I don't know. I like that the logo is uh, not like obnoxious and right here. Same with the pants, kind of on the side here. Cuts Clothing, thank you. First sponsor of this channel that gave me money. So that's pretty cool. Below will be links for their page and I believe you get a discount of this much if you put in the promo code Potato Wilson. Back to the video. So I'm doing some last minute packing. We're leaving in like 15 minutes, but not, not super organized at the moment. But we're going to Indiana for a drone show, 300 drones, Halloween themed at Holiday World. It's a, I believe it's the only family owned theme park in the country, possibly the world, I'm not sure. We're flying there on a little plane. My brother-in-law is uh, gonna be piloting and the color of the leaves are beautiful right now. So I think we're going to get a lot of really good footage. But I've been having a lot of fun with this 10-foot pole thing for the Insta360 camera. This stick was $115, by the way. How does it feel to fly a plane and then fly 300 drones successfully oh, I didn't think about in that, one right? day? It's pretty good. It's a fun day. Busy day. Not many people can say they did that in oh, a day. I'm pumped. We're gonna get some food. Let's do it. <laughs> Driving the van. Six thirty a.m. We're heading back. Quick trip. Quick trip. Good morning. Good morning, Connor. Oh, we left those light stands with them. That's a good move. Is that a film camera? Yeah, baby. What you got in there? Ektar 100. Okay. Wait.
I'm at my parents' house right now, and in their backyard are these trees that are filled with birds. Usually this time of year there's no leaves and you can see them, but I'm not leaving here until I capture them all flying away. It's like the highlight of my fall is when I see some of that, but I've never captured it on video, so hopefully we can get something cool. I guess there wasn't as many as I thought, but still cool. Sunflowers. Once for Gabby. Once for both of you guys. Hello. You got a progetta amber. I know that. Nice. Oh no. Look at her, she's impatient. <laughs> what is this one? Handbook of dating and other etiquette. What other etiquette am I gonna learn? <laughs> Kept woman, she's got that ring. Look at her, she's ready. We already have a bath and trash can that's vintage. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's great. Anything this is what you bit. need. <laughs> How much is it? <laughs> $10. $10. Oh, if it was five, maybe. Okay, so the title of this video is probably something about one year of van life. There's a lot that's gone that's happened in the last two weeks. Uh, this is the longest I've gone without posting a video. I was burnt out a little bit. We uh, were going really hard with work, and I was doing side projects after work, trying to edit this vlog, and on top of that, I was searching for homes to purchase. I'll talk about that later in the video. But I went to Eastern Market with some friends, and met a new friend. She goes to this place in Detroit every Wednesday with a bunch of people, and they watch the show Survivor. When I heard her say that, I was like, ex was like excuse me? So something I haven't told you is I have tried out for the show Survivor several times. I've made videos, and I even went and tr auditioned for it. I went to this art van furniture. There's a million people. And, uh... Yeah, that's my destiny. I will be on the show Survivor someday. Anyways, side tangent, and I do need to make a new Survivor video, but back to what this video is probably about, and that is one year of van life. It's not, it hasn't really been a true full time in the van. With work, we travel a lot. I don't know if people understand maybe that the job I have at Firefly Drone Shows, I do all their video production. That is very much a full time job. We work anywhere from 40 to 60-ish hours a week, and uh, we travel a lot. So half the time, I'm not in the van. I'm staying in hotels, flying in airplanes, and stuff like that. I think that's the only way van life would have worked for me. I don't, I could not, I cannot see myself doing van life full-time and working on the, like, remote and just being in here all the time. I think I'd go a little insane. That's not realistic for me. I found it realistic because I was like, all right, this is a little bit of adventure, a challenge. I knew this would be outside the comfort zone, which I like to do sometimes. And uh, with work and travel, it just seemed like it makes sense. I didn't do this to save money. I definitely didn't save money. This was expensive to build and buy. And with, I mean, you watch this channel, I buy the most random impulsive stuff. So I could have probably spent the same amount of money living in an apartment, but 
but this is, I don't know, this is fun. This is an adventure. And I liked uh, sharing it with family and friends on, you know, YouTube and stuff like that. But after a year and winter is upon me again, I've... I don't, I just don't feel like doing another winter in the van. I'll do it, but I don't really want to. I've been uh, looking for homes. Uh, that got sparked by me just kind of casually going on Zillow. And I ended up finding like the house of my dreams. It was this late 1950s, mid-century home. And I tried getting it, but was too late to the game. I didn't have my pre-approval and all that, and it got swiped up. So that kind of triggered the whole, let's get let's see what I can get pre-approved for and what, what can I do. And I got pre-approved pretty quickly and then just started the whole process of looking for homes. Found some really funky ones. This one house was huge, had this like really weird bathroom. The guys who were showing me were like, this is, this is weird. And I saw it and I almost passed out. I was like, this is my dream bathroom. So yeah, I was looking for homes before and after work and pretty quickly I found one, made an offer, they accepted the offer and uh, had the inspection and the inspection went well. The appraisal is supposed to happen if it hasn't happened already in the next day or two, I don't know. But that's like kind of the final hurdle. But actually the final hurdle is I need money for the down payment and um, you know, I need furniture or I need a bed. Um, so unfortunately, I think I got to sell the van. Um, it's a bummer. Although, I don't know, when it comes to these kinds of situations, I try not to get too attached. So when it comes time to a big decision or a change in my life, I kind of go into this whole detachment mode and just kind of move forward. And then when I tell people I'm doing the things I'm doing, they're like, oh, that's a bummer. We're going to miss that thing. And I'm like, we're, I'm already, we're moving past mentally to the next thing. Did that with my business, van life, leaving van life, whatever the next thing is, it's going to be cool. But we're moving forward. So yeah, the next video, I mean, you can kind of predict the titles of these videos. I'll, I'll squeeze out the last van life titles I can get. But we'll, this one will be one year of van life. Next one will probably be van life is over, but I'm looking forward to, hopefully this house works out, looking forward to doing some estate sales, doing some thrifting, just finding some funky stuff to put in the house. There's going to be a lot of cool things we'll be doing, but that's it for right now. I don't know if this is the end of the video. I don't know how I'm editing this, but... I need to know everything, who and the what and the where, I need everything. Trust me, I hear what you're saying, but act like it's new what you're telling me. I'm curious, George, I hop in the Porsche, with five and a horse, I'm ready for war, I'm coming for throws to turn to a ghost, I need to know everything.